An historic free trade agreement between New Zealand and the UK has been signed this morning. It removes tariffs on all New Zealand exports. That's wine, dairy, meat and much more. It promises to give the economy a billion dollar boost. Yes, a billion dollars added to our GDP, the estimate. Trade and Export Growth Minister Damon O'Connor signed the deal in London in the early hours of this morning. And he joins us now. Good morning. Marina, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Now, before I get all negative Nancy on this, I want to congratulate you because this is an incredible deal for New Zealand. And as you say, by the end of the 15 years, all the tariffs, all the quotas, everything is gone. It's pretty much unfettered access. Yes, it is. And uh, I have to congratulate and thank the team. Um, you know, they worked over, over two years, uh, mostly virtually, um, between New Zealand and the UK. Um, we had some people negotiating up here, but an incredible effort to get this far this fast. And, and it's, an, it's an outstanding agreement. And particularly when it comes to dairy and red meat, there are still going to be quotas uh, and some tariffs for a short while, but after the 15 years, they'll all be gone. That's right? That is. And, and the volumes that we've been sending into the market and, and there's huge room for growth uh, will mean that there, there will be no tariffs. The tariffs only kick in if we move beyond certain volumes in the market in any one year. And at this stage, those the, the volumes are way, way below. So, you know, we have huge potential for growth without any tariffs. But if we were to put a huge amount into the market, then some tariffs might apply for 15 years. Beyond that, none. Right, OK, I've got you. So, as you say, this is fantastic news. It means we can grow our exports. But my question to you is, how are we going to grow our exports when we've got the likes of the Climate Change Commission saying we need to reduce our herd sizes? Well, I mean, this is about value. You know, we can't just grow volumes. And we've said that to UK farmers, some of or many of whom are concerned that we're going to flood the market. Look, we, we don't have the ability to do that. We can feed 40 million people. Um, a lot of it goes into other markets. So it's high-end, high-value um, produce that we put, want to put up into here and, and uh, the EU as well. And, and that will be around nutrition. It will be targeted um, food, nutrition products. Um, it's not just sending carcasses as, as happened over 100 years ago. Um, so this, this is an opportunity for people who want to grow the value of their exports uh, and it will be at the top end of the market. Yes, but you've still got to grow the meat, don't you? I mean, it's, it's obviously high quality red meat, it's high quality dairy products, but at the end of the day, it comes from cows. It does, and I, I think many will accept that um, in, in some areas we've reached the limits of production. Um, you know, we've intensified to the point where we can't so, go any further. Okay, okay, so how do you do this then? How do you say, on the one hand, we're going to grow our exports in red meat and dairy to the likes of the UK, and on the other hand say we've reached capacity? Well, we, ultimately, those decisions are for companies. What we do as a government is open the door. We negotiate the trade agreement. This is an opportunity. It doesn't guarantee success. All that companies will take up those opportunities. And, and so, you know, at the moment, we're very focused on China and other markets. Um, you know, things may change. And so they may want to, that's the exporters, may want to look at this market and see opportunities uh, into the future. So, you know, that's what trade agreements are about. They don't guarantee... Um, uh, you know that we're successful or take it the more up, up, but um, you know it's there for it's there for the taking. And this is a market that's very discerning. They want high standards in mm. animal welfare, environmental management. You know we can do that, and we can get good value. All right, Damien O'Connor, really appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for it, right. Minister for Trade and Growth, Damien O'Connor. And as I said earlier, uh, congratulations on getting this deal over the line. It is a fantastic deal, no matter which way you look at it. We really appreciate your time this morning from London.